Habs Heartbreak. Right here, Talking Habs with Rick. The number one heartbroken hockey channel. Right here on YouTube. Okay, before we get into that, please like, subscribe, ring the bell. That'll notify you of all my videos as they come out. And uh, question of the day. Who would you like to see Montreal pick up for next season? So who would you like to see Montreal acquire for next season? Leave a comment in the comment section below and I read them all. And stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm going to tell you what my wish list is for Montreal for next season. And I'll just give you a little idea of what I'm planning for the offseason. Okay, so let's get into it. So, eliminated. The Blue Jackets eliminated Montreal last night with a 3-2 shootout win over the Rangers. So tonight's game with Toronto is meaningless. Although I'm hoping uh, to see uh, Ryan Paling play and see what he looks like in an NHL game. Uh, I'm not going to do a typical preview here because, like, why? It's a meaningless game. doesn't matter what happens. Instead, I think I'll address the talk that Montreal would have made it uh, if they had uh, brought in a number two defenseman to play with Weber and someone to help on the power play. Which would have been nice, I guess, but at what cost? So I think the question is exactly that. What would that have cost Montreal in terms of prospects and draft choices? And for what? Someone who probably wouldn't stay next season, who might not fit in and be a total bust, and, and, and Berge said, uh, and I believe him, that the asking price was too high for anyone they, they thought might help here. Um, and there's a bright future now for Montreal. Why mess with that? Let's see what these guys that we have in the, down on the farm are going to bring to this team. Uh, okay, so there's a bright future here in Montreal. And that's based on who's here right now. And those prospect, prospects that everybody's interested in that they would have wanted to take back for anybody we acquired. So I, for one, want to see those kids come up and see what they can do and how far they can take this team. Um, I lost my place. <laughs> uh, I'll, I want to see these kids come up and I want to see what we have in the cupboard, see what where they can take this team and like how far they can go. I think we've got a lot of really good prospects. Uh, I really like Nick Suzuki. I gotta tell you, and KK, I, I think those two guys are gonna make a big difference. I'm hoping Paling does the same thing, and I have a feeling uh, this young Josh Brook might be a good addition to that defensive line. Okay, so I'm not saying Montreal shouldn't look to improve through trades, but it's better in the off season, in my opinion. At the trade deadline, the price to get what you need is often way too high. The seller's asking too much from the buyers. Who are usually a little desperate for help to either get into the playoffs or to go a little farther and deeper in. So I'm extremely proud of this team. They showed character and determination. They fought through adversity time and time again. By not tanking, they didn't buy into a losing attitude that could have carried over into many seasons to come. How many players had career seasons this year? Something they can build on as a team. They gelled as a unit. Fought hard for each other. Nearly every game. I think these things are invaluable to a team on the rise. And becoming a contender once again. So hopefully in the next, you know, that will happen in the next couple of seasons. There's so much to build on with this team. And I think Bergie's finally going to get us there. With prospects like KK, Paling, Brook, Suzuki, and Primo. The cupboard is well stocked. Add in Jordan Wheel, who at 27 is getting the opportunity to show his skills. He was an impact player, a forward, in junior, which means he was an elite junior player who never got a chance for some reason in the NHL with the right team, I guess, uh, that he's getting right now. And then there's Nate Thompson, who was who solidified the fourth line with solid defensive play and energy and winning face-offs and chipping in a bit on offense, too. I hope they re-sign these two guys. Uh, Kristen Folan was a good pickup. I don't know if they're going to go forward with him, but he fit in well, and he did a good, an admirable job here for a guy I've never heard of. And everyone thought they traded for Weiss, but in my opinion, they traded to get Folan. Um, so I, I just think there's a lot going on for Montreal. I don't think they need to 
to screw around too much with the chemistry that's here. Yes, we need to bring in one or two players, but not at overrated prices. And I mean that by giving up prospects that I think will do well here. And hey, we drafted them. Let's see what they can do before getting them rid of them anyway. Okay, so this is the point where I'm going to give you my wish list for what they need to acquire in the offseason. So number one, I think they need a legitimate number two defenseman who will complement Weber, quarterback the power play, and set Weber up for shots from the point. I, I think at that point you move Mete down with, uh, Petri, with Petri, and Kulak goes back with Ben if we still keep Ben. If they don't keep Ben, maybe they keep Folin and you adjust there or, you know, you see how that goes. We've got prospects. Maybe Brooke makes it up. Uh, but you don't sell the farm to get that guy. Uh, number two, a sniper. Someone who can finish on a consistent basis, not streaky like Pacioretty was. A point of game type who can help big time on the power play. That's what we really need, that consistent finishing, probably a winger, obviously. Um, yeah, that can put the puck into that on a consistent basis and doesn't go on streaks where you don't, you don't hear from him for 14 games, 15 games, whatever. Number three, a legitimate backup goalie to give Price a few nights off and is dependable and consistent. If that's Charlie Lindgren, that's fine. If it's not going to be Charlie Lindgren, go out and find somebody for Price so he can have some nights off during the season that we won't, or that the team won't feel... You know, like Miami, it's like, oh, God, what's going to happen? So we need that. So those are the three things I think we need. Now, I'll uh, let you know a little bit of what I'm going to do since the season's pretty much over. Uh, so I'm going to do a playoff prediction video in the next couple of days. Uh, and a season breakdown for the for the Habs. My thoughts for the future as well. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do those two videos. Uh, I would think that's going to be in the next week for the breakdown. And the playoff prediction video is going to be before Wednesday because Wednesday the playoffs start. So probably t tomorrow or Monday, I would think. In the playoffs, I think I'm going to pick a team and follow them. Um, a team that I can get their games on TSN, that's going to be important. Uh, and I'm thinking Tampa Bay because uh, I'm in the East. So most game times will work for me, and I have a feeling they're going to go pretty far, if not go all the way. So I'd like to get a team that's going to go. Uh, so I'm going to do a special video on Toe Blake and why his number hasn't been re uh, retired and why it should be. That's a request from one of my subscribers, um, and I think it's it's a, a valid video. And um, I was surprised. I didn't realize the number wasn't retired. I should have known that. I'm going to do some top 10s, some greatest games ever videos, greatest Habs ever, greatest great playoff series, stuff like that. Um, along the veins of like the hockey guys doing, but my own ideas. But, you know, stuff like that to entertain you guys hopefully over the off season. So let me know also what kind of videos you'd like to see me do. I'd appreciate that. You can leave comments in the comment section on that. Um, I'm still going to review tonight's game. So look for that video. And my playoff prediction brackets by Monday. Uh, Monday the latest in the afternoon for that. Okay, so that's it. There's my video. I ran a little longer than I wanted to. Please like and subscribe and ring that bell and that'll notify you, especially in the off season. Good to have the notifications on when I release a, a video. Um, and question of the day, who would you like to see Montreal pick up for next season? Leave a comment in the comment section. Like I say, I read them. And I want to thank all of you out there for watching me this season. I really do appreciate it. And for all my Finnish viewers, I don't know how to say all that in Finnish, but kitos. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to put a couple of things up here. One I'm going to pick, one I let YouTube pick. I hope you enjoy that stuff. And I'll see you after the game tonight. So bye-bye. Hibasti. -bye. No, I